Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 14 in chapter 23. Chapter 23 is about electric potential. So there we can see we have a conducting spherical object, right? The conducting keyword tell us the charge is uniformly distributed at the surface. And also the diameter is given so very easily we can get the radius for this uh, spherical object. And the potential difference or the electric potential at the surface is given. And we know at the uh, infinity, this uh, potential is equals to zero. First question, ask you the, the surface charge density. So this one we can see, as we know in this uh, test book, at the electric potential at the surface just equal to this term. Do you agree for the spherical object? Yeah. You, you. In this case, now, uh, if you want to know the charge density, that means the total charge Q divided by the surface, right? 4 pi epsilon naught, uh, 4 pi r naught squared. So in this case, we can see uh, we input the Q as uh, 4 pi r squared naught times V naught and input it inside. So in this case, we can see 4 pi cancelled, 4 pi cancelled. And R not cancelled, R not cancel one, so you get answer there. You get the term for the charge density fine. Input a known quantity, get answer there. The next one asks you at what distance will the potential uh, be the 25 volts. So that means at the one position, V becomes 25 volts. Can you determine this R? You can see now in this case, 4 pi epsilon naught is, is a constant. Looks like you must know the Q, right? And the Q can be write as 4 pi epsilon naught R naught times V naught. Agree? So you input the Q as 4 pi epsilon naught R naught V naught. And then in this equation, 4 pi epsilon naught cancelled, cancelled. So you get the term for V. And then we look at this function. You can see this V is given, 25 volts, R0 is given, V0 is given. The only unknown quantity is R, so you can get the function for R, look like this one. Input the known quantity, get the answer there. Thank you.